Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we just did the basic setup for authorizing resource using the can 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 gem. We just set up the read ability for companies for admin users. In this lecture, we will move one more step ahead by authorizing the complete CRUD for companies resource. Okay, so let's open the ability file and set up the ability for super user role. Okay, so switch to the project directory and here you can see the ability.rb okay so for now what we have done that we are checking if user is admin then he can read all so now let's uh, remove all these lines okay and we need to set up this again so just uh, remove all the comments and instead of these comments we need to set we need to check every user's ability here so if user dot super admin and uh, I just wanted to make you sure that here I'm using the super admin and admin method because we just added this runtime methods creation into the user model okay so this is fine now let's uh, switch to the ability model again so if user dot super admin then we can manage all resources sorry we can manage all yeah all resources okay and else if sorry else if user dot admin then he can read all can read all we add the comma here okay. and now end this block so here you can see if user is admin he can manage all if user sorry if user is super admin he can manage all if user is admin then he can read all the manage option includes all crud operation it means if a user is super admin then he can perform any operation on the company like read create update and destroy and if user is admin then he can only read the company's detail okay now save this ability file and switch to the postman again and try to create a company for the currently signed in user okay so just save this ability file and switch to the postman and now we need to create a company for currently signed in user okay so here you can see that what we have my company one indoor indian established here okay but first check that what is the role for currently signed in user so here we can see just to access the member details and you can see that the currently signed in user has the role manager okay and we should get an access denied error when we try to create company for currently signed in user okay so now let's submit the request okay so when you submit this create request you will see that you are not authorized to access this space authorization failed it means that currently signed in user is manager so he cannot create a company okay because we set up the ability that only super admins can create the company now switch to the rails console okay and into the console let's update this user's role so you can update its role to admin okay because we need to check for the admin as well like whether admin is uh, getting access denied error or not so update this user's role to admin okay and now let's hit the same request again and here you can see that we are still getting the same access denied error that you are not authorized to access this page and authorization failed now we need to update this user's role to currently signed in sorry super admin the user who is currently signed in right now so what we can do we can add here super admin so super underscore admin okay save this role and now let's try to access this members detail so you can see into the postman that this user has now the super admin role and now this must be able to create the companies and we should not get any authorization error or oh, sorry any access denied exception now okay so switch to the tab where we have the company request again and here you can see into the companies controller that what we have right that company equal to current user dot companies dot new okay so now only super user can create the company so we need to comment this line and we need to uncomment this okay because super user sorry the super admin need to pass the user id while creating the company okay so let's save this and switch to the postman again and into the request body just pass one more parameter that is user id user underscore id and let's say user id is 2 okay so now we can create company and user is 
super admin so when you click on the send or when you click on the send button you will see that company has been created with for the user id 2 okay and now if you wish to fetch all the companies you can click on that link and you can see that currently signed in user can view all the companies and it can obviously because super admin can manage all resources so he can perform any kind of operation on the company okay and similarly we can do the same thing for update delete and yeah update and delete okay so now let's uh, do one change here okay so what we can do let's uh, change the company name so we can do let's say my first company is let's say my last company okay and now set the user id to user id and it must be 3 okay and now click on the send button okay so you can see okay so company with id does not exist so let me see what company ids we have so we have company id 3 so provide this id 3 here so remove this one and send this request now okay so we are getting could not find company with id 3 so let's do one more change here so un see the set company method and here let's comment this and uncomment this company dot find okay and now again send the request and you will see that the user has updated the company successfully and you can see this here okay so my last company and my first company sorry yeah my last company and i company with id4 is my company one so what we can say is that we managed the crud operation here similarly you can delete a company as well if you are the super admin user okay so just send this request okay and when you send this request you can see that company deleted successfully and you can see this on the terminal as well okay so delete from companies where company id is 3 and now if you access all the companies you will see just only one company that is company I with id 4 okay so this is how we can manage crud operation for a resource using kenken gen okay so that's all done now in the next lecture what we will do that we will allow sorry we will change into our ability file here you can see that right now what we are doing that if user dot super admin he can manage all if user dot admin he can read all okay but we will change this equation that use if user is admin then he can manage his own company or he can read and update and destroy his own company okay where the company is or user id in the company is the currently signed in id currently signed in user id and he is the admin user okay so we will do this in the next lecture so that will be one more extension and one more deep details for the ability implementation for the can 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 okay so till then let's try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe